This is the continuation of the Frequently Asked Questions, Part 2. If you want to stay updated to our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Learn Review 8760 or like us on Facebook at Learn and Review and follow us on TikTok at Learn and Review. Where can examinees verify their room assignments? List of room assignments is posted at the PRC website and also in the Facebook page ng PRC two days before the start of the examination or earlier. So, one week before the examination, for example, March 19 ka mag-exam, one week before ay nakapost na yung mga pangalan ninyo sa mga rooms kung kailan kayo mag-exam, kung saan kayo mag-exam. So, tingnan natin sa website ulit kung saan natin makikita yung room assignment. Pupunta lang kayo ulit dito sa examination e-services and then click room assignment. Hanapin nyo lang kung ano yung licensure examination. For example, ay dito sa respiratory therapist tayo. Tingnan natin. Ayan. So dito makikita natin yung mga list of names at kung saan din kayo mag-exam. For example, here yung pangalan and then kung saan kayo mag-exam school and the address. And then, kung ano yung floor. And then, hanapin nyo lang yung pangalan ninyo. So, that's it. The room assignment. What time should examinees report at the testing centers? Examinees must be at the testing centers before 7 o'clock a.m. to accomplish examination forms and for further instructions. Late examinees are no longer admitted once the examinations, examination has already started unless there is a valid reason. Okay, as for me, in my experience, 4.30 a.m. pa lang ay pupunta na kami dun sa examination area para at least makapag-ready din kasi kapag late ka na, hindi ka natatanggapin at meron kasing pang mga instructions before the exam proper so 4.30 a.m. I arrive mga 5 o'clock 5 o'clock a.m. sa testing area ako kasi ang aking room assignment ay sa Philippine Normal University so dito sa examinations dapat uh, sure kayo na dapat maaga kayo dahil kapag late kayo, hindi na kayo papapasok next, what should examinees bring in the examinations? The examinees should bring the following notice of admission yung pinakita natin kanina. Itong mailing envelope hindi na hindi ko na to kinailangan based on my experience. Nagdala pa rin ako ng mailing envelope pero hindi ko siya nagamit. Pencil syempre yung Mongol number 2 basta any pencil that is number 2 yung kanyang uh, number. Black ball pen para sa pagsusulat ng inyong pangalan sa form and also one long brown envelope, one transparent plastic envelope. So, ito yung mga kailangan natin. May tanong kasi dito na kung pwede daw magdala ng cellphone. Pwede po magdala ng cellphone pero ito ay isosurrender sa proctor. Based sa aking experience ay pinaturn off yung phone at pinalagyan ng pangalan or pinalagay sa isang envelope yung phone namin at nilagay doon sa area na secured. Okay, licensure examination. Can an applicant who is abroad apply for a licensure examination through a representative? The answer is yes, provided the applicant secures and issues a special power of attorney appointing a representative to file the application and submit the documentary requirements. However, the notice of admission will be issued to the applicant upon personal appearance at the application division at least one week before the first day of examination. Okay, so pwedeng ibang tao ang mag-asikaso ng inyong mga documentary requirements but the examinee must be present in the application division. Okay, so siya pa rin yung mag-exam. When are the results of examinations released? Okay, examination results are released at an average of 3 days after the last examination day but for licensure examination for teachers, result is released at most 50 working days after the examination day. For the licensure examination for teachers, medyo matagal talaga ang pagbibigay ng result dahil madami. So, madami ang nag -e exam ng for teachers. So, when we say working days, that is Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday are not included in the what we call the 50 working days. So, more or less, that is 2 months para sa pagre-release ng result ng exam for licensure examination for teachers. How would the examinee know the result of the examination? So, after the examination, so 
for example you are taking for the licensure examination for teachers you will wait for 50 working days and you will know the result of the examination it is published in newspapers ngayon kasi hindi na sa newspaper it is through the news media outlet sa mga facebook page so pwede nyo makita sa gma news page abs cbn page rappler or any website that present in news so pwede sa website mismo so it is also posted in pr website and Facebook page. What's the next step after passing the examination? The next step is for the successful examinees will proceed to initial registration. Okay, so initial registration, uh, dito if you pass the examination you are now going to register your license at bibigyan ka na ng license number, license card. Pero bago ka makapag initial registration, kailangan ay nakapag oath taking ka muna. So, ipaprocess mo muna yung oath taking. Pupunta ka ulit sa Leris sa online.prc.gov.ph para sa oath taking. So, doon sa oath taking ceremony ay dapat attended ang status mo para makapag proceed ka sa initial registration. So, that's it for the part 2 of the frequently asked questions.